Well, hello, welcome to another vlog. Today, you're out on a walk. We brought both of the girls and Pinocchio to the workspace today. But anyway, we've been on a nice walk and we're getting some coffee and we got a special treat for Pinocchio because his birthday was a few weeks ago. Pinocchio is very excited. Oh boy, no, what do you think? Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Pinocchio? He said, oh, I understand this. Look at that waggly tail. Oh. <laughs> It's a treat, Pinocchio. Oh no. <laughs> but it's the most expensive treat you've ever gotten just for your birthday. You gotta eat it. Oh my gosh. Thank so I'm thinking much. about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, got some iced coffee with half and half. And now we have no hands. Because the little stroller we have is the Duna and it has no cup holders. So I don't know what we were thinking. <laughs> All right, now that we're back. He's thinking about it again. <laughs> I've never seen him not just annihilate something. <laughs> well, totally different day. It is now Tuesday and we had a really nice weekend just spending time just with our little family and enjoying summer, really. So here we are focused and trying to be focused, I should say. And Felicity is down for her second nap. It's like, actually it's like one. And so I've got my little to-do list here and I'm gonna, figure out what I need to get done today. I had planned to get started much earlier in the day. I did want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Blue Land. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. When I straighten up the kitchen, I'll show you what Blue Land is all about. I'm so excited to be working with them again. But I just started laundry and it's it's crazy because I was just detagging like the next size up for Felicity. And she, I've talked about a bit that she was kind of slow to grow. And so now that we're supplementing with formula, with breast milk, she's growing a lot faster. So I'm very thankful for that. So moving her up to the next size and like cutting the tags off and washing them and just remembering like going shopping for these clothes and being maybe five or six or seven months pregnant and excited to meet her and now she's here and it's just, I don't know why, but I even remember with Genevieve it being a weird moment when we'd be moving up to the next size and being like, oh my gosh, like, I remember buying these clothes and thinking, I can't wait to meet her. And then when she's a little bit bigger, she'll wear these. And here we are, we're there. Anyway, so laundry has been started. So that's the first thing on my list. I need to clean up the kitchen. And it's always little things that, you know, I should have put away the first time. There's that rule, only handle it once, Ohio only handle it once. I love that idea where when you are like, let's say coming in from the car or whatever your situation might be, or you're leaving a room, grab something to put away and you only handle that thing once, put it right away. Don't set it down on another table to be put away later, put it away right away. I don't follow it perfectly clearly because there's a whole bunch of stuff that if I'd only handled it once, it wouldn't be sitting on the kitchen countertop. But I love that idea and I want to get my mind back to that because for the few months when I was really good about it, I felt like I was picking up things a lot less and that generally the house felt cleaner, you know, or more tidy, I should say. So anyway, so cleaning up the kitchen for sure. I've kind of handled the upstairs a bit, like our bedroom looks a lot better. I need to send my accountant some tax stuff that I've been putting off. So I need to get that done. I have something else I need to send, an email. It's like a heat warning today. So I'm sitting out here before it like really settles in and it's, it's, I can see why there's a heat warning. Pinocchio's inside. He's like, I don't even want to mess with it. <laughs> so I'm going in soon too. Also, have I shown you guys my mug here? I found it at that lovely store near me called Meyer, and I love it so much. How adorable is that? I don't think I could link it for you if you were curious. I have no idea. It says it's by Disney. I'll, I'll see if I can find it, but I don't know. The only downside is it's ginormous, and so I feel like my coffee gets cold way quicker than normal. I technically need to like film a sit down video today. I don't absolutely have to, but I kind of need to. So we're gonna see if I actually get to it, knowing that it's already one. Gigi's at preschool today, and we need to pick her up around, well, not too long from now. So kind of getting that in mind. We uh, were under the weather last week, and so we didn't have a lot of help with the girls. We just kind of kept it close. And boy, we've been looking forward to this week to actually have at least somewhat of focused time. Like we still always have Felicity with us, but like Genevieve being at preschool is a big help. And she missed it. She really missed it, which makes me so happy that we finally put her in preschool because she genuinely looks forward to it now. And that makes me 
so happy because if you've been around since the beginning of her preschool journey, probably like most kids, it was scary and she didn't want to go and we had to coax her into going. <laughs> but now she really, really likes it. And that is just awesome. I'll put a big question mark next to my filming thing. So I need to go inside because I am sweating through this shirt. It, boy, it happened fast. So I'm trying to mentally prepare for our Disney trip because I know it is this freaking hot all the time. <laughs> It's just wet. Like, I don't know how, I, I say this every time, but I don't know how any of you guys actually live there because that humidity, genuinely, how do you deal? How do you deal with it? Do you just stay inside all the time? I don't know. Anyway, let's go inside. And if you ever wanted to see real life, our house, <laughs> we've got, of course, dirty dishes. Okay. We have a new formula machine, you guys. Wow. That thing is amazing. I'll talk about it maybe later. It's new and we're loving it. But then I've got my breast pumps there because that is our life. Those two together. Snip, snap, snip, snap, back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, toaster out from this morning, a random speaker. I've got a cooler that needs to be emptied. S'mores ingredients, things that I want to try soon, like food. So then we've just got random things. We have sparklers we haven't used. Our neighbor gave us some trucks, shoes, my tripod. So this, I know you guys can relate. We need to get this straightened up. There is literally a fly in here. I'll randomly see it and I'm like, okay, there it is. And then I, I lose it and I can hear it just constantly. So if you hear that buzzing, it's making me crazy. And I know why it keeps happening anytime. Like we were trying to teach Genevieve, like, honey, if you go in the backyard, if we're back there, you have to shut the door. That's how the bugs are getting in. And she freaks out every time there's a bug in here. I'm like, honey, that's, that's why. Four-year-olds. Also, you're letting the AC out. Turning into my father. He's right though, man, you are letting the AC out. So I mentioned earlier that a portion of this video is sponsored by Blue Land and that is this portion right here. So thank you Blue Land for supporting my channel. So I've talked before about how Tyler and I are trying to be a little more sustainable where we can be. And if there's something that we could swap out that maybe can be reused over and over again versus something that we're constantly throwing away. We're trying to be better about that and making that choice to switch over. And that's why we fell in love with Blue Land. We kind of realized how many hand soap bottles <laughs> we were going through and that single use plastic, you know what I mean, over and over again. And plus it just got expensive. But I love that they're effective, they're convenient, they are affordable, plus they're sourced from clean ingredients. So they actually don't use any single use plastic in any of their components from the bottle to the tablets, to the shipping materials. Plus they are EPA certified, they're vegan and cruelty free, which I think is so cool. So they're also made with clean ingredients. They're made without ammonia, chlorine, bleach, and parabens. So we love it because it's really a way that we're also saving money. All you need to clean your hands is this little nickel sized tablet within here. And all you have to do to use it is you fill your forever bottle with warm or hot water, and then you just drop in the tablet. That's it, no shaking or stirring needed. It's ready to go within minutes. And I love that it's a foaming hand soap. I'm someone that's really particular about that. I don't know why, I just always have been, so I appreciate that. But they also smell really good. So the three scents that I have is the pairing lemon, the lavender eucalyptus, and then also my favorite, which is the iris agave. That's the one I use today. It smells so good. I can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but it, it, there's something about it that I love the scent of. But these tablets are only $2 a pop. And actually, if you buy them in bulk, they're $1.55 each. And that right there saves you so much money versus buying the single use plastic hand soaps over and over again. You get to reuse the bottle that it comes with. It's really, really well made. I've had comments of people that'll come over here and they wash their hands and they're like, what is this brand? This is really nice. And they have questions about it. I feel like I usually pay five, six, seven, sometimes higher dollars for a single thing of hand soap at like, you know, a pretty common place that a lot of us buy hand soaps. That adds up really fast. Plus again, you're going through those plastic use bottles over and over again. So for this to be $2 for a tablet is pretty incredible and a really big savings in the end. So what I have is the hand soap starter set and it comes with your forever bottle and three of the tablets. I really think it's so cool. It Last you a surprising amount of time too, which is nice. I don't feel like I'm going through it super quickly. So if you want to check out Blue Land for yourself, you can get 15% off your first kit by using my link right there at the top of the description box. They are now shipping to the US, Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. So a lot more of you guys can get it, which is so cool. So like I said, 15% off your first purchase with the link below. Thank you so much, Blue Land. Also, by the way, I wanted to mention, if you pop on their site, they have not just hand soaps, they have cleaning supplies, laundry supplies, dishwashing supplies. So they've really branched out and they were on Shark Tank. <laughs> I feel like that instantly gives them like cool street cred in my mind because I love Shark Tank. Tyler and I love that show. So I think that's just like one extra step into the cool bubble in my mind. Okay. Anyway, thank you again, Blue Land, for sponsoring this portion of the video.
and thank you for the good hand subs. All right, I'm down in our little workout room closet. <laughs> it's technically, well, I don't know if this room is technically, I don't know what this room was ever originally intended for. It has a closet, like a storage closet, which is great because that's where we store all kinds of stuff. This room, like the woman that lived in this house before us had nothing in it but she had workout stuff just like in the main basement area. But I remember when we first like saw this house, I was like, this room would be the perfect size for just some workout stuff because I don't know what else you'd use it for. There's no windows. So to be like an office would be really, I would hate, <laughs> I would hate to like have an office down here. It'd be really dark and damp and no thanks. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to work out. You may recall in a previous vlog, <laughs> Tyler and I were like agreeing to try to do something good for ourselves, like work out or like eat a real big, nice salad or whatever it is, something good for us ourselves, like go on a nice long walk every single day for like a month. Well, <laughs> that fell through fast. We were trying to be really lenient, like that's why we were trying to include lots of different things that could count. Still fell through pretty fast. So we're trying to get back, <laughs> back to it. So here we are, he just got back. And so he's got the girls, I'm gonna try to, do I think just like a treadmill run or something, run, walk, whatever, but uh, yeah. I'm trying to psych myself up because I really don't feel like it, but I know half the battle of doing something like this for yourself is starting. Because once you start, you're, you'll, you're gonna do it. It's kind of like if you actually go to a gym, like the battle is just getting there. Once you're there, you're gonna work out. Like you're not gonna go and then not do anything and leave. So I'm down here, I'm dressed and ready. I'm gonna do it. Well, we are playing with sand and water and mixing it. Oh my. To which I say, where do you guys buy your sand? Because I feel like it's weirdly expensive. <laughs> anyway, Tyler is gonna cook dinner on the fire again. I feel like last time we vlogged, he was doing it. We don't do it as often as <laughs> I... <laughs> I feel like we don't do it as uh, often as it appears that we do it. But like last time we vlogged, we... we're making a, are you making scoot? All right, my phone was like overheating or something. So I'm back to my vlogging camera. Not that that matters, but I was laughing. I'd left it down in the workout room and I'm currently pumping with the like bra pumps. <laughs> anyway, I'm laughing because, oh, you can't see it in this light. Well, first of all, it looks like I am triple the size. <laughs> but <laughs> there's a light that glows. So when I'm in the dark, you can just see the light glowing and it just caught me off guard when I caught a look at myself in the mirror. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, what? Oh, that's right. Anyway, that's definitely TMI. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what in the world was I talking about? Oh, Scoot. It's delicious. I'm so excited. And Tyler is excited to break in. He has a cast iron bowl. No, not bowl, like pot. I'll show you. He's very excited to break it in. I was like, are you sure it's pretty hot out? Like, do we really want to make Scoot out here? He's like, yeah, we got to. I'm like, okay. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a huge fan of cast iron. <laughs> We yeah. have really do love it. Too many cast iron pans. First of all, what are you guys thinking of? It looks like a witch's cauldron. I'm not mad about it. I'm just reporting it. I figured we wanted stuff that was just for the bonfire. Cause like, I don't want to use the stuff I use inside cause it's going to get soot on it and like all yeah. that kind of stuff. And they're really not all that expensive. So that, they, but they'll last you a lifetime. Um, anyway, so this one I got specifically to make like big like chilies and soups and stews and stuff like that on the bonfire. Uh, but, but mostly one, scoot. Mostly scoop, but this is made specifically for campfires too. So it's got this like raised bit and it said you can even put it like directly on coals. You can put coals on top of this too. So I think you can like literally put coals on like either side and cook it coals, that way. Coals everywhere. Uh, not the clothing store coals. Yeah, so it's got, it's got all different kinds of stuff, but it's specifically made for- Oh, it has for, recipes, that's cool. Um, right, but it's specifically made for camping, so. Nice. Yeah, you place coal briquettes on the top. So I interesting. Know, awfully interesting. But that way, it, this can be our one to use just for the bonfire and stuff. Yeah. And then I got, I have a skillet too. Although the skillet we're using is like one we had. Yeah, 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 because we had a lot. <laughs> you can see the smoke. It smells so good, you guys. I think well, we told you guys this even last time. It yet. What are you talking about? The f on the, the fire. <laughs> Like you're trying to pull the wool over people's eyes, like Damn, guys. It smells it smells so good. Oh, that's smart. Since we're you just put it like in a part of the pit. Yeah, because it didn't. I don't know why I struggled to come up with words for that. Uh, that we can't find a grate that actually fits this perfectly. You guys, we can't find one bigger. This Isn't that? They had. It's like the exact size, though. So it's like. So it never it's perfectly. So yeah. Uh, like doesn't fit. <laughs> it works fine. I was just thinking, can you burn ground beef? I've just out. never really thought about it. I'll like you can burn butter, you know what I mean? I can burn something, I'll find a way to do it. <laughs>
Now it's starting to smell good. Also, does anyone just have no luck with hanging plants? We've weirdly had absolutely no luck. We've tried it in different spots. In fairness, a lot of things are dying right now because it's just been super hot here. It's supposed to rain tonight and my fingers are crossed that it actually does because we need it. But anyway, we have one like sitting up there too that we just can't keep alive. My dad actually did some work on it and kept that one alive a little bit better than these, but yeah, it's so bizarre. Oh, I'll go grab one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, it's burning, is it? <laughs> Look how good that looks. It cooked in how, like what, 10 seconds? Oh, not even, I was not prepared. I didn't bring a can opener out. I was like, okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. Yeah, the meat literally cooked in five seconds flat. It was incredible. So, just filmed a video. It is the next day, it is Wednesday. Just filmed a coffee check, get ready with me video, which is always fun. And I tried, oh, the freaking new Rose Ink Cream Bronzer was so easy to apply with a sponge and it was so pretty. I'm excited for you to see that video because I'd used it once before and it was with a brush and I was like, mm, I didn't love it, but with a sponge, it was like the easiest cream bronzer. So that was exciting. And I also used the Kosas Revealer Foundation. I think I'm gonna bring this stuff with me to Disney. It is so pretty and it's a pretty good shade match for me. <sighs> I'm just, it makes my skin look exactly how I want my skin to look, which I love. But anyway, so today we are going to Costco, which will be fun. We are just in need of a few things. We need to pick up a prescription there, which side note, if you don't ever use Costco for your prescriptions, they are usually better priced than a lot of other places. The only thing for us is it's not always convenient, but I don't know. So anyway, just saying. But uh, yeah, and just some other random things that we always get at Costco that we're out of. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna vlog that here or if I just wanna film it for a separate video. I think I might just vlog it here in this video. Still trying to decide. So we stopped at Starbucks on the way to Costco and hold on, we're doing a brain quest thing. She's mad that we stopped. So we stopped at Starbucks on the way to Costco and just, we ran a few other errands. I just got the chocolate cream cold brew. What was my reaction when I first tried it? Whoa! <laughs> it was so good! Kicking the teeth. Oh my gosh. Y'all, you have to try it. It is, that cream, hi <laughs> Gigi, that cream is so good. Like I thought it'd be okay. Like I didn't love the chocolate shaken espresso. Like that was okay. This? 10 out of 10. On to Costco we go. So Michael, here's the Costco near Castleton. The CIA building's right back there. I'll see if we can get a, it's like literally shrouded in trees. And fences. And of course fences. Yeah, there it is. Or is it the FBI? What did we decide it was? I don't know, it was one of the two. Whichever we said it was. Can like barely see it. Yep, there it is. Pretty cool, huh? Tyler's making fun of me because we're gonna get this steam iron thing because with our new washer and dryer i know i talk about it all the time okay but they're so small that everything gets wrinkled if we put too much because they can't tumble properly you can get out baby you don't have to sit in there long story short i hate ironing i just don't do it and so i told tyler i'm like i'll just rewash something again and again and just throw it away i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding i don't like to iron i just don't do it so I maybe i will see because i'm gonna have to because now our clothes are way more wrinkled than they used to be so we'll see <laughs> Hoping that one works because it's not cheap, but steamers, I've had cheap ones before that just break really quickly. Look at how giant this candle is. It's only 20 bucks. I'm like that perfectly right in the middle of our like uh, kitchen counter. This one, we smelled them all and I think we agree. Best smelling, second best smelling. That one's just it's okay. It's huge, it's massive. Yeah, that's it's gonna last bucks. a while. That's awesome. I got it in my fingernails. <laughs> oh man. So we really are gonna get that one, but it looks like the vanilla one must be popular because that one's almost totally gone. By the way, this is the new Keurig that we have. Boy, I wish we'd bought it here. <laughs> it's cheaper than what we paid for it. It's really nice. The coffee is even better than the Keurigs used to be. And we do like it better than our Nespresso, which we passed on. I think I'm gonna get this book for like doing, just practicing this kind of stuff with Genevieve. And it says it's like a whole year's worth. And even though she's in pre preschool a few days a week, it does not hurt to do at home. And plus it'd just be something we can do together. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Doesn't this make you want to teach preschool? <laughs> <laughs> so Tyler loves tea and we were looking at this so it's sweetened with stevia I'm assuming and it's different like flavored teas but <laughs> problem is if I don't like it I got 14 more to get through <laughs> that's true it's, it's, a, always risky it's a bold move so I don't think we're gonna get it we're gonna see if we can get less quick shout out for our favorite coffee that Costco sells we talk about it all the time so that's it but it is so smooth and so good Genevieve just saw a giant bag of chocolate chips she said whoa 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 daddy back up <laughs> we're like what oh the giant bag of chocolate chips 
<laughs> I wonder what this is supposed to be duping. <laughs> I said that and Tyler's like, what? I'm like, oh, never mind. You wouldn't know. <laughs> I know most of you guys do. Hey, how much is it though? 20 bucks for a two pack. If it's anywhere near the uh, Brazilian, the boom boom cream, then that's a way better deal than that. All right, I'm eating some leftovers. It is now Thursday and I'm nearing the end of our work day here. I actually just filmed a video down in our front room and it was so nice. I've only filmed on there a couple times and I really should do it more often because it was so bright and nice and it's an area of our house that is usually clean so I don't feel like I have to like clean up everything. So that was that was just kind of a lovely, lovely place to film today. By the way, update on that Costco, the big candle we showed. We ended up buying two, one for us, and I lit it downstairs. The entire downstairs within like an hour smells like it. So the scent throw is amazing. But we ended up, before we even left Costco, I ran back and grabbed another one as a housewarming gift for my brother-in-law, because we figure that's kind of a nice thing to throw in to our gift for him because this weekend we've got like a birthday party for my best friend's little baby and we've got a housewarming party for my brother-in-law. We've got a Backstreet Boys concert, very excited to go to. So it's just a very busy weekend. And then like a few days later we leave for Disney. So I'm like, okay, I need to like get ahead of things and make sure I've got everything we need. So I was just placing some last minute orders on Amazon for a few things I knew we would need for this trip. Hopefully we are getting squared away. I'm so excited for this trip. By the time you're seeing this, we'll either be on the trip or back. It depends. I think we might be on the trip, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna end this vlog here because I wanna send this footage off to my editor and I figure it's a good spot to end it. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. And again, thanks to Blue Land for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you want to check out Blue Land for yourself, you can get 15% off your first purchase by clicking the link down in the description box. And other than that, if you wanna see more of my vlogs, I will link my vlogging playlist and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.